Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Salmon Max Season 1. He's got a bunch of maps in here with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting. But it probably doesn't mean anything. Yeah, there's not like a lot we can do in here. It's just like wandering around. Whee! Getting Sam to just comment on random things. Hmm. Apparently Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. Yeah, and if you check out this. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. The dressing, you can talk to the dressing screen. Or talk about it. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear head. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? Fair enough. Alright. So the standoff with the Don Bear. I'm taking a drink of coffee. Hey, there's a whole bear making factory back here. You mean the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized. You two, you're back. Inconceivable. But come no closer. I know how to use both of these. I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you then. And this hypno bear will make you my willing slaves. <laughs> you can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings. Look! Look at the hypno bear! Do whatever Teddy Bear says. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from it. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master? Shoot your friend! I command it! This blows. <laughs> All right. So what we have to do is shoot Max with the cap gun. I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little <laughs> Maxie? Oh, death, <laughs> where is that guy, Sting? Very... Oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so... For cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Why am I so cold? All right. I know, I turned the sound effects off so you can't hear him slogging around in the pipe. But, it was interrupting the dialogue. It really was. Okay. Good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the hypno bear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. All right. So now you can do anything you want. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. <laughs> That's fantastic. I can't hear you. I'm dead. All right. So, what you have to do? Screwdriver, take it. Anybody got a screw loose? <laughs> That's awesome. And use it on the one arm bandit. Oops. You're on fire. Use 
You're on fire. All right, and then what we have to do is actually put it with the other voice boxes in the hopper. And it'll make us a teddy bear that tells people they're on fire. Okay, so if I put this Rammel what's it in this Flingle Flipper... There we go! Now we have an altered teddy bear! You're on fire! Aw, isn't that cute? It is cute! So let's convince this guy he's on fire. Shall we? I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on, I'm on fire. Help, help, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. All right. And now all we gotta do is pull that handle that Max conveniently showed us sucks you into the machine. Here goes nothing. That's right. Nothing. I'm on Oh, we might not hear the explosion. Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look! Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? Fair enough! Run! I forget. Which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That one. Run! Well, there was an explosion. At least we get the music cues. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. <laughs> I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. All right. Another burnt bear. And then this. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. All right. So, we have the setup for the next episode. But as for this episode, we're done. It's done. I think that's, that's new. We'll have to turn the sound effects back on for the next one. Uh, it just the, the the factory sound effect was just too much. I could turn the voice up one more notch, I guess. Cause there's not a lot I can do. I can't really change it in editing, like the layers of vocal stuff. So we just have to go with what we've got. I think it's more important to showcase showcase this game than my commentary. That is what I have decided because. It's just hilarious. Like, this game is just amazing. And it's a comedy game. So, I mean, you know, my jokes aren't going to be as funny as Sam and Max as well. Sometimes, maybe. But that's rare. I would, if the betting man's money goes to Sam and Max being funnier than me. Without it out. So, uh, that'll be it for this when we come back. Uh, we will be at the next, uh, next episode. So you guys take care and, uh, bye everybody.